What is going on guys? Thanks for coming back for another Moto Vlog. As you guys can tell, we are not in Rapid City, South Dakota anymore. We are on the clear opposite side of the state where everything is flat and pretty much the only riding to do is in between stoplights. And we are riding the Raptor today. Part of me likes being back here just because I get to ride the Raptor and it's a bigger city and I kind of like it here, but uh, I definitely miss the hills, definitely miss riding the Triumph Daytona and this out there. I had this out there last year, like I've said a million times before, and I love riding the Raptor on the trails. This thing is like pretty, I mean, this thing is meant for the trails. It's not really meant obviously to ride on the street and stuff like that. It's not meant to race. It's a trail quad and it is a blast to ride out there. Oh wow, Dodge Viper. Nice. And earlier today, before I came out for a ride, I finished putting on my street tires. I have um, front and rear Duro Scorchers mounted on just like, I guess, steel rims. But uh, these things are so much better on the street. They last literally 10 times as long as knobbies that I run in the winter. The only reason I run knobbies in the winter is obviously because it's so slippery and these things are like slicks um, in the snow. So. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked I got these on the quad now. One thing I noticed after I put my street tires on, like compared to when I just had my knobbies on, is that it shakes a lot. <laughs> so I think I need to rebalance my front two tires. I don't really know why they're so out of balance. Uh, yeah, you guys can see that. That one's shaking. It's definitely the right one. I don't know. I don't think it ever used to do that, but I definitely need to get that fixed. Are you kidding me? A stinking train? Oh my god, I could I could have gone, but I don't know. We got like a front row seat to this thing. Now I can only pray that it's not literally a mile long. So anyways, I wanted to come out and make a quick video for you guys today about three things I love about my Raptor 700. The first thing I love about my Raptor 700 is its engine. And there's a couple things in specific that I love about it. The first thing I like about the engine is its low end torque. I'm probably running at like 2000 RPMs, if not even lower, and the engine just, the engine just pulls. So that's the first thing I love about it. The next couple things I like about the engine kind of go hand in hand. The first is it's obviously reliable. I've preached about that time and time before. Um, but the next thing is it's really easy to maintain. Um, it's kind of well designed in my opinion. Oil changes on this thing are really easy. There's really no headaches that I've had to deal with. Um, you know, there's just a drain bolt on the tank, drain bolt on the case. Um, as far as anything else, I did a manual cam chain um, tensioner. It's just, it's pretty headache free to be honest. Oh, holy cow. Casual, just BMW i8, just chilling. Dang. The second thing I like about this quad is this little thing right here, reverse. Reverse is, ah, oh, I can't even tell you guys how much hassle having a reverse on a four wheeler has saved me. Whether it be just like backing out of a parking spot, backing out of the garage, it just makes the quad so much more uh, maneuverable. And I feel like having that reverse gear is something the Raptor is super underrated for. Holy crap. Woo! <laughs> totally spun out there. Like I was saying, I feel like having that reverse gear is something the Raptor is super underrated for. Because the second you don't have it, you're going to wish you did. And uh, it's just a super nice thing to have. I mean, sure, it adds weight like to the transmission and to the quad. I don't know how much. Probably probably at least five to ten pounds just like with that extra gear in there and all the other stuff that goes with it but its usefulness totally outweighs you know the extra weight that adds to the quad and the third and last thing I love about the Raptor is its gearbox and clutch nobody rear end me please thank you um, I don't know if you guys have ridden well I'm sure a lot of you have ridden other motorcycles and quads but a lot of the times, um, after things have been running for a while and they're nice and hot, gearboxes get kind of sticky. They don't like to shift in between gears. And I've been running this thing for about an hour and a half, riding it pretty much all afternoon. And I can shift in between like second, neutral, and first, just like 
butter. Um, the gearbox is just very smooth on this quad. And for example, I used to own a Raptor 350 and a Ninja 300, and both of those gearboxes kind of got sticky after a while, um, after they got hot and stuff like that. And this Raptor 700 has a totally different transmission than um, the Raptor 350. The Raptor 350 was like a six speed with reverse. This is a five speed with reverse. Um, but yeah, this quad has no problem with its gearbox getting sticky at all. So guys, those are three quick reasons why I love the Raptor 700. Of course there's more, like the power. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button below. And I will see you guys next Saturday for probably another quad vlog.